I'm gonna give you next instead. Your fucking headliner! That's what I'm talking about. He performs all over the goddamn country. Make it extra special out for Darren Maddox. My desert people, keep the fucking applause going. The fucking road show, Tokyo Drift. Adam fucking Cagley, who puts her hands together for the comedian who came up here prior. We all fucking killed it. God damn it. Fellas, get up out your seats. Put your fucking hands together. Do a goddamn dick tornado. No? That a bit much? Ladies, get up out your seats and shake your breasts. Too much? Okay, there's a couple, there's a couple. Look, a little too much cardio for you guys. It is getting kind of late, I feel that. I feel that. I'm doing my Vin Diesel tonight, I'm in character. I look like I work on cars and shit, like yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's A little bit, right? Like I, I drew some inspiration. I did like the like the pseudo like lesbo thing going on. I look like I work on cars. But I'm on Google the whole time, like, yeah, maybe check the uh, fucking alternator or fucking... <laughs> yes, god damn, you guys are a fucking amazing crowd. Let me just, can I just soak this in for a fucking second? Wow. You guys are fucking amazing. My fucking heart is full. Also, my dick is like 30% hard, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I know there's men out here too. Fucking embrace it. Don't fucking don't run away from it. Don't run it. Don't run away from it. Don't make it weird. Like fucking embrace it. Like <laughs> love is love. Fuck you guys. Love is love. Embrace that shit, fellas. I, you know I um I feel a little underprepared. I don't have any underwear to throw at you guys. Today's laundry day. It's all still in the fucking washer back in my apartment. I didn't have the time, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm busy playing PlayStation, I'm a fucking nerd, whatever. I was like, oh shit, it's your time. But that's cool, somebody in my apartment will take them out and put them on a fucking dryer somewhere, and they'll be good and mildew by the time I get home, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. Whatever. <laughs> Thank you, oh shit! I hope this is a clean pair, I need one. Fucking <laughs> Adam, I know they're Adams. Wait, I don't, I don't know like that, I know because he threw them. <laughs> Can we keep the party going? It's like fucking Coachella in Palmdale. Just fucking keep tossing these bad boys. This motherfucker's like, no, that way. No, fuck you. Because he did that, I'm throwing them right at you. <laughs> Woo! Fucking... You see volleyball, fucking, fucking serve that shit. Fucking serve it somewhere else. <laughs> My God, I fucking love you guys. This is great. <laughs> Man, we've got a lot to talk about Palmdale. It's been a while since I've been on stage here with you guys again. We've got a lot to talk about. It's been a fucking wild ride for the last two months. I actually rolled up in a fucking Uber today to the road show. How fucking crazy is that? Like, I'm sure you guys expected me to like pull up in like a badass Honda Civic with like the fucking, the fucking exhaust and the fucking Nas and shit. I was, I had to pay my Uber driver extra to fucking do the drift, like into the parking lot. I was like, I'll fucking tip you 10 extra bucks if you could just fucking do the thing. It's kind of like our show, do the thing. Fucking cost me extra, but we fucking did it. We made it. We fucking made it. Yeah, my car is like broke down right now. I'm not, I'm not that type of man. Like I don't have those skills. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't lie, you do. Fuck you, you do. Don't lie. Yeah, I'm not the I'm not the guy who fixes cars and like squashes spiders and shit like that. I'm the guy who brags about my dick like way too much. Like that's the guy I am. Like the physics don't fucking work. Like I fucking googled it. I'm like, no, nah, girl, fucking have to unroll my shit and fucking like throw it out across the room. And then while I'm getting the beer, I'm like fucking you at the same time. I'm getting the beer. 
No, the physics don't work. I fucking Googled it. I looked it up. Like, the type of blood flow you need for that, I don't have. Like, I would pass out five seconds in to a fucking blood loss. You would have to have the EMTs on speed, though. I'm like, girl, you ready to go? Fucking, you ready for, you ready for this? Fucking, why is there three of you now? Like, what the fuck, you brought friends? Like, wait a minute, hold up. No, like, fucking, guys, can we stop? Can we stop fucking bragging on our dicks? Let's be honest. It's 2022, let's be honest. It's the motion in the ocean, right? I mean, that's what the ladies told us. I mean, we can, we can count on them, right? They're fairly honest, except when they're fucking your best friend. They're fairly honest. I mean, they keep it, a, they keep it 95 with us. I mean, I'm not gonna say 100, let's be honest. I'm not gonna say 100, but they keep it 95 with us, can we be honest? It's like, yeah, I'm thinking, uh, fucking, I, t- I start taking Zumba classes. You know, just like get to like the motions and shit, like, like every angle has got to be like precise. You know what I'm saying? Fellas, get on the train. Like, fuck it, it's 2022, get on the train. Like, fuck that shit. Like, I have sex like Elvis. I'm like, what? Fuck it. Like, all that shit. Like, fucking, I don't go directly in. You're expecting that. No, I fucking, I surprise you. I tell you, I'm fucking, I'm coming from the east. And then I'm coming from the west. Like, fucking, I do it, I keep it spicy. Keep shit interesting. Take notes, fellas, pull out your pads. I know you got a mommy. Pull out your pads. You know you got a mommy. This is a fucking TED talk. It's not a comedy show. I'm trying to save marriages in this motherfucker right now. I'm trying to save marriages as a single male. Whatever, fuck that. I'm back in the dating scene. My daughters insisted that I started dating again so I can get out of their fucking business. It's not because they love me. It's not because they want daddy to be happy. They're like, God, you're in my business. I'm like, you're fucking 19, you don't have business. Are you fucking kidding me? Your social media, that's your business? Jesus Christ, get out of here. There's a bunch of other fucking horny 19 year olds liking all your shit, trying to kill your dad early, because that's how you kill your dad early. Jesus. We actually got back from a Vegas trip. I was uh, going to see my sister's wedding. She got married for the second time, whatever. Hey, you know, it's the odds. It's odds, it's math. I don't do math, she does. She's the smart woman in the family. Second time the charm, whatever, fuck it. I'm here for it. There's an open bar. Why wouldn't I be, <laughs> you know what I mean? Full disclosure, I don't remember much. I'm glad I took photos. Apparently it was a lovely event. But on the way down, my daughters, my youngest now is 18. I don't know if you follow my comedy, but I talk about when they're younger. They're fucking older now. And my youngest, who's 18, my little sweetie, my baby, she goes, Daddy, can I play a song for the ride to Vegas? I'm like, sure, sweetie. Here's daddy's phone. Put on whatever you like. From the top, make it hot, make it wet, make it wet. Jesus Christ! There was almost a fucking five-person fatality on the 15. I'm gonna be fucking honest with you. I wasn't ready for that. Was not ready for that. Daddy is not ready for that. Jesus Christ, they're women now. Oh my God. I can only hope that I prepared them for the future, but the fact that they're both in Cardi B in my car says that I failed somewhere <laughs> along the road. They're not even trying to be slick. They're just like, that is 22, we're, we're fucking women. Ah, make it wet. Hey, ah. Ah. I used to like that song. <laughs> yeah, I'm that guy now. Fucking Cardi B's a menace. She's a menace to society. I want her off the radio. <laughs> yeah, that fucking happens. It's fucking terrible. Can we talk about gas prices for a second? I feel you. I feel you. I actually got held up by an Uber driver on the way over here. I was going in my car, and he was like, hey, homie. Get in the car. Get in the car. I thought I was getting kidnapped. I was like, oh, okay. I don't want no problems, bro. I don't want no problems. I got in the back seat. I sat down. I was like, hey, man. 
It's not worth it, bro. It's not worth going to jail. No one has to die tonight. He was like, yeah. Where you going, dog? I was like, transplants. I have a sugar man. He was like, okay. I'll get you down in 10 minutes, homie. Make sure you did. Make sure you did. I got fucking ride jacked. What the fuck happened to guys who stole cars? Those motherfuckers put you in the back seat and take you where you want to go now. That's how bad gas prices are. That is fucking insane. Guy got me for a $20 fucking, uh, fucking surge ride and a $10 tip. Jesus. Ah, fucking crazy. I know I said I look like Ben Diesel, but with gas prices, I'm more like Ben Unleaded. <laughs> like Ben Unleaded right now. <laughs> I'm Ben 93. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I took out an auto loan to buy a horse. That's how bad shit is right now. I'm like, the prices of hair are like right here. Prices of gas are like right there. It's an educated decision. I did the research. It's fucking wild. Hey, plus side, mass off in LA County. I can see all of your beautiful faces. That includes you, man. I'm the fuck. Like I said, love is love. <laughs> Fucking handsome men, beautiful ladies. Mass off in LA County. <laughs> yes. I was getting tired of grown ass men walking out of places like, <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Pushing their wives out of the way, knocking down little kids. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, hi, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't fucking breathe. <laughs> no, a guy who does that to his mask does not eat pussy. If I can be honest, he doesn't eat pussy. Not even a little. You get the Tootsie Pop licks from that guy. <laughs> One, a two, a three. That's all you get from that guy. That is not a fucking man right there. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. I don't mean to spit down my fellas. There's a lot of guys up here not laughing, but they're like, hey, motherfucker, wait a minute. They're fucking with the bro code. What happened with the bro code? I'm sorry, bro code's out the window tonight, dog. I'm sorry. I got the mic. I'm a snitch. I'm snitching. I'm sorry. I wear my mask in my car just to advertise myself to women. I can hold my breath for a long time. I don't give a fuck. You are what you eat. Call me a person. I don't give a fuck. That shit's delicious and nutritious. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, others. Yes, days. I don't give a fuck. There's 32 genders. I'm like a fucking horny Pokemon trainer. I'm trying to fuck them all. Same. Shit, same. <laughs> so, news says we're out of the pandemic. I don't know about that. I feel like there's something else coming. Like another weird strain. Like I've been doing all the research into the like the conspiracy theories and all the weird shit. Bro, you're gonna get fucking superpowers. Don't fucking take the fucking vaccine. You're gonna be fucking magnetic. Blah, 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 what the fuck? You know what I mean? You know what? I'm a nerd. I'm low-key kind of down for that shit. I kind of want to see what finds out. We had the fucking Omicron. What if the next version is like the Decepticon? Guys? What if we get like fucking mechanical powers? Right, wouldn't that shit be wild? I mean, my lady right here in the glasses, maybe she's like a Keurig, she makes like the finest coffee, she fucking transforms. You can start your day fucking all brisk and shit. Maybe my homeboy right here, maybe he's a food truck with the finest fucking tacos you can get on the fucking, and fucking pond that right? That's where I am. Maybe he's that guy. I don't know, maybe he's that fucking guy. He's got that horn and shit. Maybe he's that guy, I don't know. Like, right? We don't fucking know. But I'm fucking worried, though, a little bit. Because what if we can't pick what the fuck we get? What if that shit just fucking happens and we just stuck with what we get, you know what I'm saying? Because I've got terrible luck. I feel like I would fucking be a vibrator or some shit. They're like fucking, I'm like, ooh, shit, I fucking, I got the Decepticon virus, let's see what happens. Ah. 
You can't do that shit with your fucking homeboys. They're like, let's go to the club, dog. Let's fucking go get it in. Let's fucking transform and roll out. And they're like, rrr, 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 rrr. and they're like fucking Lamborghinis and fucking Escalades. Maybe my man's right here in the green shirt. He's got the skinny rims and shit. He's a fucking <laughs> the low rider, whatever. They're like, Darren, transform. Let's fucking roll out. And I'm like, <laughs> do I have to? They're like, come on, dog. We're fucking to the club. We're gonna be late. I'm like, ah. all right, you asked for it. <laughs> and you know, guys are fucking assholes. They're like, ah, this motherfucker's a vibrator. Ah. I'm like, come on, guys. Mm -hmm. I just to you. Mm -hmm. Fucking bullshit. Get to the club in time for last call. I'm like, can I get a water and some double-A batteries? Fucking <laughs> 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 asshole. And the fucking worst part is, you'd be permanently friend-zoned by all of your homegirls. They've got those nights where they're like, eh, fucking Chad, he's such an asshole, can you come over? And you're like, fuck yeah, finally. <laughs> you roll through at like four in the morning, you're like, hey, what's going on? And she's like, oh my gosh, I just need to feel something. The thing. I don't really want to do the thing. Can't we just talk? And she's like, no. Do the thing. And you're like, fuck. <laughs> and she's like, oh, oh my god, thank you so much. And you're like, ah, my turn. And she's like, oh, you're sweet. <laughs> you know what that means, fellas? Fucking permanent friend zone. You're sweet. Oh. And you're like, well, can I at least stay? It's like four in the morning. She's like, yeah, but in the top drawer. And you're like, God damn it. Gonna get a fucking Uber Black. I'm out of here. <laughs> fucking bullshit, right? Where are my 40 plus people at? Oh, <laughs> my people. Oh, don't worry. I'll make this quick so we can all get home by fucking 10. I know they don't got that bedtime. I see you guys fading. I see you fading. Having fucking Red Bull and fucking IPA or whatever the fuck they serve right now. Yeah, 40 plus. You know what? I don't know. I heard something about 40 plus and woo. And I'm like 40% hard now. You build, building it up. You're building it up. I'm starting to black out, I can feel it. <laughs> you know, when I started, when I got 40 plus, you know, I was worried about it at first. I was a younger guy and I was like, oh my God, 40, that's like over the hill. Oh my God, I'm out the game. Gotta put the jersey up in the fucking Hall of Fame. No. You know, you start getting to know yourself a little better. You settle into who you are as a person. Fuck the gym. Fuck expensive clothes. Fuck all the fronting, all the fucking Facebook photos and the Instagram shit. Fuck all that. Fucking 40 now. I know who I am. I'm secure. I'm good with my shit. Right, brother? You feel me. He feels me. So yeah. There's certain things that are socially acceptable once you hit the 40s. As a man, it is socially acceptable to have a dad bod. And no kids. People just assume you are married and well taken care of. This life is amazing. Look at him. Such a happy man. They don't have to know. Fuck them. Whatever. Mind your business. Mind your business. As a 40 plus year old man, it is socially acceptable to go shopping for food and just buy snacks, <laughs> Capri Suns, Twinkies, fruit snacks, trail mix. They just assume you coach Little League. <laughs> Mind your business. No one's gonna fact check you. No one's gonna fucking ask. Just do it in a sports cap. Whatever. Go Little Dodgers. 
No one's gonna fact check you. You're good, sir. Don't do it in a trench coat, because then you end up on a fucking watch list. Don't do it in a trench coat. Pro tip. Don't ask how I know. As a man in your 40 plus years, it is socially acceptable to spend your money on weird shit and claim it as an investment. Put that shit on your taxes. I personally buy Funko Pops. Whatever. Iron Man's gonna pay for my vacation 10 years from now. I don't give a fuck. Thank you, Tony Stark. Whatever. And as a woman, you gotta go along with that. I'm sorry. I mean, in my 40 plus years, you can either have good dick or a bomb ass vacation. It's your choice. I can go to the gym and get my cardio up, or I can buy a bunch of toys that are worth $10,000 six years from now. It's up to you, ladies. It's up to you. I'm not sure what you said, but I'm like 50% now. 50%. Mm. Oh, Harley. Harley. I'm 60% now. Mm. Mm. Keep talking that talk. <laughs> Ladies, in your 40 plus years, it is socially acceptable to eat in public. I see a lot of you know. A lot of you know. Some of you younger ladies, you were told, hey, it's not ladylike to eat like that. When you're in your 40 plus years, you growl at motherfuckers. Hey, it's not ladylike to... <laughs> I'm... the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, ladies, but if you're 40 plus years old and you're at an all-you-can-eat buffet with your man and you knock down six plates and he's not ready for the check to take you home, fucking divorcing, <laughs> fucking dumping. That's not a man. I don't know if you've ever had fucking full belly sex, but that is some shit that you have to experience once in your life. Because you get home and you're gonna, as a woman, you're gonna be like, oh no, I'm full, I'm stuffed, I'm bloated, whatever. Fuck that shit, those are carbs. When you start getting it on, those shits kick in like fucking knots in one of those Fast and Furious cars. All of a sudden, your man's like, hey, I don't know what's happening, but all of a sudden, I've got all this extra <laughs> Get rid of those blankets. Get rid of those sheets. You can't reuse really those. That's what carb sex is. Fuck that shit. Get rid of Walmart, 18 bucks, and you get a whole other bed spread. Fuck it. Don't, don't try to watch those. It's, I'm sorry. Try explaining to your in-laws why there's a big white stain in the middle. Like, fuck it. You can't do it. You can't. Also, keep water on the bedside. You will get dehydrated. That shit just takes over you. Oh, shit. Somebody's had car sex. <laughs> Somebody was like, yeah, I lost 18 pounds. Somebody. Had... <laughs> I can't see you this dark, but I'm with you, brother, wherever you are. We are kindred spirits. Yes. As a female in their 40 plus years, it is socially acceptable to wear a moo to bed. I see some of you know what a moo is. Now when you're younger, that will kill your fucking heart on in a second, fellas. But when you're in your 40s, that is like a mystery bag. There is a prize inside. Oh God, and I'm gonna find it. There's a prize in there somewhere. And I'm gonna fucking find it. It is like a cinnamon toast crunch box when you're eight years old. And you just fuck that. I don't care who's eating this shit. You stick your hand in that little motherfucker. Looking for that shit. And I can promise you, you'll find it. You'll find it. <laughs> yes. You know, it's crazy. Because when you're that old, and that, you know, I shouldn't use the old word. Because a lot of people who are older than you get pissed off. They're like, hey, fuck you, man. You're, you're like 42 years old. You're not old yet. Just wait till you hit 50. Okay. Disclaimer. I'm not that old. Fair. I am not fucking free Grand Slam and Denny's old yet. But I want one. I want one. I am not free coffee at AMP and old yet. But they, they offer it. They ask. So I'm getting close. I am not dick pill years old yet, but I've got the brochure. 
I am reading up on it. Just, you know, you gotta be prepared. You gotta do the research. You gotta do the research. You know, you think it's weird, fellas, when you go on a date with that lady, and you know, you take her out, and you have a nice time, and all that kind of stuff, and you get home, and you're like, hey, can I come in? And she's like, no! It's because she hasn't fucking eaten in 12 hours. Because she's trying to impress you. Her fucking kitchen looks like a crime scene. I'm pretty sure there's an episode of CSI of some lady laying out in the kitchen floor with just fucking snacks and shit and ice cream all around her. And they're fucking in there like, oh my god, what fucking happened here? She ate herself to death. Because she tried to look good for some dude she was interested in. Don't be that lady. Intermission. Thank you. Hey, I love you back. I wish I had underwear to throw at you right now. I wish. I wish I did. Tip my shirt off? Oh, you want the dad body in full display, do you? I've got two abs left. They're up here, though, so I gotta take this shit like damn near all the way off to show you. The rest is a keg. You can literally tap that shit and get fucking drunk tonight. The whole front row. <laughs> We'll be stumbling out of here if I do that. Like, I don't know if you're ready for that yet. I, I feel like you are, but I'm a little, a little skeptical. A little skeptical. I love it. Oh, you guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. Yeah. This is a wonderful time right now to be alive. Life is so precious. And people are coming together right now. We don't give a fuck, Republican, Democrat, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, other, they, who, guys, girls. It's fucking beautiful. But I feel like there needs to be some changes in our nation. Oh, well, okay, well I made a short list, but I'll get to work on that. A lot. And I feel like there's certain things that we can change that would bring us closer together as a nation. The national anthem. It's a little old. A little dated, doesn't represent us as a culture. So, I did the work. I found a band that represents us all as Americans. Color me bad. There's a black guy, a white guy, a Hispanic guy, and Kenny G. Kenny G belongs to everybody. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. That guy's universal. And I thought of a song that represents us as a nation. Sex you up. <laughs> Fucking football games will be on a whole nother level if they fucking ran that shit before the game started. Think about it. Black male, we're a little upset with our nation. We're a little upset with how we're treated. We come out and we link arms. We're gonna take a knee. We're gonna represent. Tick tock, you don't stop. 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 To the. Ooh. Hold fast, brothers. They're trying to get us. Ooh. I'm sorry, dog. I feel the beat. telling you. Into that shit right there. We can't resist. We like that shit. <laughs> you got the southern guys. Hey, that's our culture. That's America. You can't change that shit. Tick tock, you know, stop. To the tick tock, you know, stop. To the tick tock, you know, stop. To the oh, oh, oh god damn it. Ooh. Ooh, they got those food they do? I want to sex you up. <laughs> Come here, man. Come get me a shit. Oh, no. <laughs> we, we destroyed racial, racial fucking dissension. We destroyed it in one song. 
We've all come together. Like one of those Gap commercials. We fucking did it. We did it right here in Palmdale. Right? We fucking destroyed racism. Thank you. You guys are all here. What's happened? You're all founding members of the new nation of America. Oh, I'm out. Ooh. Mm. It's okay. It's cool. You guys probably shouldn't get your headliner drunk before he goes on stage. <laughs> weird shit happens. I'm gonna be honest. I only wrote like half of that. The rest of it was just shit that I was thinking that just kind of came out with the alcohol. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you got me here for it. <laughs> I'm amongst my people. Oh, someone threw underwear at me. <laughs> you know, I can tell how good I'm doing by the type of underwear that you throw at me. If I get Victoria's Secret, I know I'm killing it. <laughs> but let's be honest, ladies, I've done the research. I know that shit's expensive. If you throw a fucking lace thong at me, I'm fucking ready for the big time. If I get those Grammy panties from Walmart, I know I got work to do. <laughs> I've done the research. I'm, I'm, I'm up. I'm woke. Woke. <laughs> so, speaking of being woke and educated as a 42-year-old man, I've looked into NFTs. I'm thinking about getting into, uh, you know, the Bitcoin and all that kind of shit. So I've done the research. And they're doing like these little coin thingies that sell for like thousands of dollars. I'm on board. I've got all these things in my phone that I've been looking to get rid of and I haven't figured out what to do with. So I'm coining my dick pics. In about five, six years, they're probably going to be worth some money. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. Fucking fellas, you come home, you look at your girl's phone, you're in one of those moves, what the fuck she's been looking at? The fuck she up to? And you see this big ass black dick in there? That when he gets hard, he blacks out, you see that shit, you're like, what the fuck is this coin? Hey, hey, Susie, whose fucking dick is this? You go, oh my god, that's Darren's dick. The fuck is this doing in your phone? It's an NFT. It's worth ten thousand dollars right now. Why the fuck do you only get one? <laughs> it's a bullshit business decision. You should have talked to me first. <laughs> That's my new adventure. <laughs> so after the show, I'll be selling outside. You can buy in at like you know ten bucks, ten bucks a head. Six, seven years from now, you'll be on the white sand beach of Jamaica, thanks to my dick. And the greatest thing is your man's got to give me props. He's like, hey, man, I'm fucking so glad you bought Darren's dick. We wouldn't be here in Jamaica right now drinking fucking whatever they drink in Jamaica, fucking rum, I don't know, fucking. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> hey, thank you. What's your name, brother? Brian, thank you, Brian, for contributing to my alcoholism. When I'm in AA, I will thank you in front of all of my other recovering alcoholics. Intermission. Oh, shit. Wow. Oh, thank you. What's your name, love? Amanda, thank you. Can we give Amanda and Brian a round of applause for contributing to my alcoholism? Full disclosure, I'm having sex with both of them tonight. Don't fucking judge me. Love is love, and it's also been a while. So <laughs> get all this bin, get all this bin unleaded body. Get all that bad bod. That is body by Burger King right there. Mm-hmm. Get the fucking Elvis move on both of you. They were playing, good playing with me. <laughs> Thank you guys, that was just about my time, but if I can be real with you guys for one second. Oh, I love you back. I love you back. A good friend of mine passed away not too long ago. Tommy Javier, DJ Q-Ball, a local legend. 
He came to my first road show here, hosted by my man Adam Tagley, thank you. And the last words he said to me before he passed away of COVID, should I get a fuck COVID real quick, fuck COVID? <laughs> fuck COVID, he passed away of COVID, but the last words he said to me, and he was an old school fucking essay, he was an old school veterano, he was like, hey homie, you're fucking funny as fuck, dog. And I was like, hey, thank you, brother, I appreciate it. He was like, nah, nah, homie. You should be fucking headlining, homies. <laughs> At the time, I was like, hey, I was like, DJ Pivo, I was like, God, my boy, I was like, I don't know if I'm ready. He's like, nah, fuck that, homie. Hey, you're ready, eh? You're ready, homies. Those are the last words he said to me. And here I am tonight, thanks to Adam, fucking headlining, in our city, fucking Palmdale. I fucking love you, Tommy. Rest in peace, brother. And if I may, can I take a selfie with this beautiful crowd tonight to commemorate my first time headlining the show? How the fuck do you work this? I'm 42. I'm not even sure how. I can... None of my kids are. None of my kids are here to help me. <laughs> What up, baby? You guys look fucking sexy. Desert people, put your fucking hands together! Woo! Thank you guys so much for the love and the appreciation. Supporting live shows. I fucking love you. Have a wonderful fucking night. Next time, have a good night, everybody.